Part of the reason that state of emergency was issued is because so many homes are virtually leveled. 44 News reporter Ben Lawford is in Union County with a look at the heartbreaking damage there. Union County residents experienced quite the scare this morning when that storm system pushed through. I spoke to residents nearby here in the Cottingham Acres neighborhood who told me that that storm was like nothing they'd ever experienced before. And uh, we didn't know what was going on. Uh, we never had to go through something like this. A tornado warning was issued for Union County at around 5.45 this morning. Janet Eigsty says she was still in bed when she was woken up by an awful noise that she had never heard before. We heard a, a crashing noise and our gutters in the back had fallen down and then our uh, window busted in the front. She said the storm lasted around 40 minutes. However, it felt like it lasted a lifetime. And we couldn't get the doors open, so we had to climb through the window up front, which was broken, and uh, they had to help us get out, both me and my son. It wasn't until the worst of the storm had passed that she was able to see the scope of the damage to her home. Uh, but my, my roof has been damaged about 90%. I uh, had to have tarp put up because it rained in and my flooring was sopping wet. This, the flooring just pulled completely away from the foundation. Even though her neighbors bore the brunt of the damage, the destruction couldn't come at a worse time for Janet, who was getting ready to sell her house. I uh, actually sold the house to a real nice couple, and they, they were really wanting the house, and we did a lot of indoor work in there. But, you know, you can't replace a person, but you can replace material things. Janet says she's still waiting for insurance adjusters to come out and inspect her property damage so that she can begin the claims process. However, she acknowledged that the road to recovery will likely be a long one. Reporting in Union County, Ben Lawfer, 44 News.